Okay guys, in this video I will discuss about how different type of forces acts on a bolt group. Okay, and that bolt group may be due to shear connection or may be due to moment connection or may be due to some bracket connection. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so let's start. So at the very first we will discuss about how different type of forces act on the voltage if the bolts are used in some shear connection right okay so at the very first let's say you have a shear connection like this and here you can see that you have three number of bolts okay and this is known as extended tab shear connection okay here the tab is connected with the primary beam by weld and the secondary beam is connected with the tab through bolts right now let's say you have only vertical load okay in that case what will happen simply this vertical load transfer to this tab or the plate through this bolt by the action of shear okay let's say this is the plate okay and this is the I section or the secondary beam okay this is the secondary beam right so the bolts are here uh, let use some different color so these are the bolts actually this is one bolt this is another bolt and this is another bolt okay and the force is being applied again use some another color for better understanding let us say this is the load it is coming like this then here the bolt is under the action of shear okay so the action of shear force this vertical load on the beam has been transferred to this plate okay so here all these three uh, all these three bolts are under the action of shear force only okay now discuss about the moment connection okay so if this is uh, there are different type of moment connection right so let's simply consider the extended end plate end plate connection like this is the column okay and this is the primary beam at the end of the primary beam we will use some plate okay this plate is welded with the primary beam this is welded okay then this plate is actually connected with the column phase through the use of bolt like this let's say this is one bolt and this is another bolt okay so here the moment is being applied like this so this is the moment okay due to this type of moment you will have some push and pull okay so if this is the lever arm and this is the moment so what is the tension or compression force simply moment divided by the lever arm and it is acting like this this is the pull and this is the push okay so in this two bolt what are the forces acting due to this bending moment well there is no such shear force previously in this connection due to this vertical load all these three bolts were subjected to shear force like this like this okay but in this case there is no such shear force directly due to this moment the direct tension or the compressive force is being applied on this two bolt okay so if this is the bending moment this is the tensile force this is the compressive force and this tensile force is being transferred to this two bolt this compressive force is being transferred to this two bolt okay so these two bolt are subjected to direct tension okay direct tension means if this is the bolt it is under the action of direct tensile force like this initial cases the bolt was subjected to a shear force but now it is under the action of direct tension or direct compressive force clear okay now we will go into further advanced mode that is bracket connection okay so this is the mainly uh, a bracket connection 
of a gantry girder okay if you do not know what is gantry how to design the gantry girder you can go to the playlist in my uh, channel and there i have already uploaded different type of videos related to the gantry okay so this is a typical gantry girder connection here this bracket is used to support the gantry so definitely there is some huge vertical load coming from the gantry okay let's say this load is vertical load is p okay and it is uh, applied at a distance of d from the center line of this bracket so this is the center line okay and the distance of this load is d clear so in this center of this bolt group here the bolt group consists of uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total 12 number of bolt okay and this is the cg so in this cg there are two different load is acting first is if you simply transfer this vertical force to this center line here all the 12 number of bolts are subjected to shear force right so if this total vertical load is a uh, p okay if this is p simply uh, this is divided first in two equal parts because here you can see there are two brackets first and second total two number of brackets so let's say this load is 2p okay so if this is 2p each and every load is p and this p vertical load is directly converted into shear force and divided among 12 number of bolts so in each and every bolt what is the shear force acting due to this vertical force simply p by 12 okay now due to this vertical load we have already got some shear force in equal amount in each and every bolt but this vertical load is actually being applied in this point and this point is at a distance of d from the center line of the group so what will happen just let me erase in this time please think yourself what can happen so this is the load let's say 2p or uh, let's say this is 2p so this is only p not 2p okay so this p load is actually being applied at a distance of d from the center line of the volt group and due to this eccentricity in this cg we will have some torsion simply the load times the distance and this torsional value is coming as p times d okay so initially we have already a uh, p by 12 the shear force in each bolt is already p by 12 plus now we will have some another forces that is also shear force due to the torsion okay so what is the forces due to torsion you know that if you have a, a body like this let's say you have a circular section okay and you are let's say you are applying some torsion in this circular shaft okay so what is the stress distribution shear stress distribution due to this torsion simply you know that stress due to torsion is tau is equal to t times t times the distance of the point where you are interested to measure the stress let's say this is r divided by the polar moment inertia okay polar moment inertia about this cg just like that instead of circular section here you have some bolts one two three four let's say four okay we are not considering six six we are considering four by four okay so or you can also consider six so this is six this is the cg and here is another six bolt let's say uh, the distance remains same so due to this torsion applied here this is t you know the magnitude the t is 
simply p times d okay so you know the value of the torsion so for the each and every bolt uh, let's say the radial distance is r1 this is also r1 this is also r1 this is also r1 for this one let's say this is r2 this is r2 and for this one let's say this is r3 and also for this one this is r3 so these are the distances so based on the formula of polar moment inertia you can find out the total polar moment inertia about this cg that is summation of cross sectional area of the bolt into the distance okay so now you have got the total polar moment inertia and now if you want to calculate the forces acting on each and every bolt simply you first calculate the stress then multiply the stress with area you got the shear force acting due to torsion on the bolt let's say you are supposed to calculate the force acting on this bolt so first you have calculate the total polar moment inertia now calculate the stress that is t times radial distance and the radial distance is r3 so r3 okay divided by j and to get the shear force you have to multiply this with area of the bolt that is a and you got the shear force and of course this shear force is acting with tangentially like this here the shear force is acting like this okay because the torsion is being applied here and you know due to torsion the stress is always tangential okay so now you have got some idea how to calculate different type of forces acting on bolt in different case of connection okay so that's it if you love this video don't forget to share it